Uh, let me introduce our first guest. He was actually a procurement consultant for the World Bank. Show some love. <laughs> And he's now working on the Central Action Committee for Procurement. He's going to be joining us with his wife. Let us welcome the man, Mr. Charles Taylor. Please. Hey, hey, hey. And the wife is right here. Mrs. Taylor is over. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yay! I see even your, your, your shirt shows some. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, welcome to. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Thank you. Let's, you. You were actually with the World Bank. Yes, I was. Procurement consultant? Yes. Oh, okay. For 15 years. For 15 years? Yeah. Wow. At, and the, you, at the Ghana office. At the Ghana office, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And then you've moved now to the. Um, I've retired from the oh, World Bank. retired? Yeah. And uh, I'm doing some work for the Ministry of Finance. Okay. Yeah, and which is procurement related. Okay. And okay. I'm the chairman of the Central Tender Review Committee. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I know you have a, quite a track record in uh, procurement. You established a, a school in Liberia? On yeah, the World Bank. The, the World, World Bank, Bank. Okay. On behalf of the World Bank. On behalf of the World yeah, Bank. Yeah, I was part of the team that established the procurement school oh. for Liberia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my bias. I'll be talking to the lady later, man. When we say as a I don't know about the match, we'll we'll spend some time. <laughs> Gender balance, you always yeah. yeah. Oh great, great, great. So now you're Yes, um I'm retired, my wife is retired. And uh, we decided typical Ashanti people <laughs> having a shop and uh, you know, moving out of the house every time mm. uh, to keep body and soul together mm, mm. yeah so i was in germany last year oh okay and i met uh, these guys who are into wine making and they asked if i could introduce you know their wine to ghana because they don't have any agent here oh Wow. Yes. Are you a wine lover yourself? I do. My wife, my wife loves wine, yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I used to drink the beer, but uh, <laughs> gradually she's getting me into the wine. Yeah, I get it. Because I of the health, wine. health benefits that I'm reading and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they invited me to um, Cape Town, Stellenbosch, to be precise. That's where they have their vineyard to do some wine tasting. Mm. And then... Um, they assured me that if I, I was interested, I could ship the first container in, which I have done, you know, in and uh, so we started the marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm actually, I started as a salesperson and then moved into procurement. So oh, both really? sides, you know. Uh, so what, why are you doing, where did you start off in sales? Sorry? Where did you start off in sales? Where oh, I started from W.A. Smith in the U.K., Okay. Yes, uh, I worked with W.A. Smith in Holborn. I worked in Sloan Square. Mm. Came to Ghana, worked with GNTC. Mm. Yeah, mm. you know GNTC for I 10 GNTC. years. <laughs> yes, after 10 years, I went to Coca-Cola. You're doing sales? For yes, 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 yes. Coca-Cola, I was into materials management. Mm. And then um, I set up my own consultancy, uh, Procure Consult. Mm. That's a concise supply chain management consultancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, the World Bank uh, took me on as a, a short-term consultant. That's why you do just 150 days. And then I moved into that, and I did that for 15 years. And I was in charge of projects in Liberia mm -hmm. and Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the time that you set up the school there? Yes, yes, yes. That's, it's a brilliant school mm. uh, for procurement. And you know procurement is now on the front burner. And it's now treated as a boardroom activity. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. So um, uh, it helped them a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think now, as I'm aging, I want to bring my expertise home. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's always, for me, I don't know. I like it when I see people supposedly on retirement, still very active during their small, small, you know. Yes. Mm. yes. Well, you're, you're still working in procurement. Yes, yes, I am. You have been fully, fully retired. Yeah, but uh, the brains are still in procurement. <laughs> and uh, it's, 
it, it gets body and soul together. Mm. This is exactly the work I was doing at the World Bank, mm. reviewing, you know, contracts and stuff like that. Mm. So here I am, um, the chairman for the highest review body in Ghana, wow. you know. So it's a Herculean tax, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. we thank God so far we've been able to mm. move through. Yeah. And how are you commanding that with the wine thing? Or is it okay, wine is part-time and it's like to settle my wife while she's <laughs> in retirement. Yeah, so um, I went to South Africa and then uh, managed to get this wine in. Mm. She was already into, you know, okay. bits and pieces. So she has a shop on the Spinters Road. Mm -hmm. And that's where we want to market the, the wine. The wine yeah. Okay, we'll, be, we, 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 we'll get it straight to that. I'll be talking to her very soon. Um, the wine is called M A N. Is that an abbreviation? Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Is that, that an abbreviation? Yes, abbreviation of three friends in South Africa, Cape Town to be precise. The abbreviation is the, uh, uh, well, the abbreviation of their wives. Of their wives? Yeah, Marie, Anit, Ta. And Nikki. Okay. So that is the M A N. Okay. So there's no gender bias in that. <laughs> it's all the so initials it's, it's of. A, it's man, but they're all initials yes, of the wife. Yes. Yeah. So it's called Man Family Wine. Yeah. And these three guys have come together uh, to come out with a wine that uh, the connoisseurs are happy with it mm. because it's doing very well in 30 countries. Wow. And I'm sure. Gradually to hit the Ghanaian market, uh, so, like so this is the, these are the torch bearers of the Ghanaian market. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's Artis option is the sole distributor okay. of the man wine family wine in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. And the the, the name of the shop is Artis Options. Artis Options. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we we're gonna go now and we're gonna have a chat. Are you the managing director or director of Artis Options? So I'm I'm a sales. Person. Salesperson. She, she is the managing director. <laughs> <laughs> so I work for her. Okay. <laughs> right. So finally, folks, I told you I'll be talking to her to Moon Chile. So, Mrs. Taylor, welcome. Finally, we get to hear your voice. Thank you. And uh, it's great. RT Options. Yes. And that's on the Spinters Road. Exactly. Okay. And that is the abbreviation, well, my name, my initials, Irene Taylor Options. Oh. But the I is omitted so rt's options oh rt's options yes exactly. okay we're on the spencer road between uh high sense and the goyle philly okay yeah. okay i want the precise location because yeah. you know mm -hmm. we have some wild lovers in ghana who yeah. may be chasing you right right from here so great so um you have tried have you tried ma and she he said you introduced him to wine yes he was a beer guy Yes. And you've been into wine for I've a while. I've been in wines for so long. I've been a lover of wine for God knows how many years. And wine, it's good. It's good. It has a lot of health benefits. I hear. Yeah. I hear. It does. The red especially. The red especially. Mm. It's made out of um, red grapes, which has a lot of antioxidants. And this helps with um, um, fighting inflammation and... Um, bringing down uh, reducing heart diseases and even helps with cancers as well mm, yeah mm, so mm. wines are good yeah because i hear the french people they actually goes with every, every meal every meal yes yeah. yes and they have the lowest heart rate ever that yeah wow and wines are not supposed to be drunk on empty stomachs they oh, really? are always good to have with maybe a little bit of cheese, olives, or some crackers mm. to start with. And it's a good appetizer for your meals as well. Mm. So it helps. Mm. Yeah, mm. Mm. it's good. So um, M, it's not called M-E-N. It's just man. Man, <laughs> man, 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 uh, yeah. man so probably one. Man. Yeah. So you have tasted man and yes. what's, what's, what's the, you think it has an edge? It does. It has, um, a lot of benefits. It, it, it doesn't give you the, the um, acidic effects that some wines do. This one is so smooth and you don't even get a hangover afterwards. Mm. The next morning you are as fit as a fiddle. But wines we recommend shouldn't be taken too well. Like you can take it but one glass a day for a woman and two glasses for male, which is perfect. Mm. And that's mm. good for 
every so, person. And like, and like yeah. beer, you don't see the same real wine. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. And to add to that, <laughs> you know, wines, once they are open, should be consumed within three days. Oh, really? Yes. Once they are open? Yes, mm. once they are open, should be consumed within three days. But you find people keeping them for a very long time and stuff like that. Should you put them in the fridge? or Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Once you're open, and, and even in the fridge, you have to consume within three days? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, so that um, uh, what do you call it? At least you enjoy the taste of the wine. Mm. You know, we have three uh, uh, categories of wine: wines that are made to be consumed immediately, and then wines that are made to be consumed within one year and five years. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And then the wines that are supposed to be maturing as they age. Man, wine is in the f uh, second group. You know, so you notice that the date of manufacturing is on the uh, what do you bottle. call the bottle, and you enjoy the grapes, you know. With, with, uh, so one group is supposed to be consumed immediately. Yes. yes. Don't wait time. Yes, but I mean, once you buy, you you, you, you finish off. Okay. Yeah. And, and the second group within a, a specific uh, a time period, okay. and then those that you can keep, and you know, and but people do not know this. I didn't know this. Yeah. <laughs> so um, they, they they have wine and they say like people I gave samples to. Somebody said, oh, I'm keeping it for Kwewu Nest. Yes. <laughs> said, no, 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 no. I you, man, to try it now and let me know <laughs> what is happening. This is not the type of wine you're going to drink. Keep, okay, you know, okay. Cellar and keep it for all. I'm not helping you. I, di I didn't know there was a difference between yeah. the ones you can just store and say this yeah. is And so then there's also old. this argument about red wine that, you know, it's supposed to be served room temperature. In Europe, when we're talking about room temperature, you're talking about 11 degrees and mm, stuff like that. Mm. Ghana room temperature, 27 <laughs> degrees and whatever. And maybe the guy is keeping this wine in his boot. And at a Fundra or something, he comes out, he says, hey, you have some red wine. Then they open it. That warm. And okay, they start drinking. Okay. So people, especially ladies, do not enjoy red wine in Ghana. Because when it's warm like that, when you take it, you don't really uh, feel the taste. It's supposed to be a little bit cool. Mm. White wines are supposed to be chilled, chilled. Mm. ice cold. Mm. But the red is supposed to be a bit cool. So in Europe, they keep them down their cellars. We don't have that type of uh, oh, temperature mm -hmm. here. So if you are saying room temperature and then you're drinking the thing, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you don't enjoy it. So I will tell people, they should just put it in an ice bucket. Okay. Uh, once they okay, open it, yeah, open, put it in an ice bucket with some ice, and you will enjoy the red wine. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we are taking wine lessons today, man. This is all. <laughs> this is all lessons for me to understand. Because I hear it a lot, you know. Don't 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 serve wine chilled. No, no, no. no. But white wine you can serve chilled. Yeah. yeah. You can go on the net, Google, and you and, know, and, and you see whether I'm just selling my product or <laughs> yeah, telling you the truth. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So these are some of the issues. And then the health benefits, like we were saying. You see, uh, red wine, for instance, acts like a thinner for mm -hmm. the blood. Clot clotting. So it prevents blood clotting. Mm -hmm. And in preventing blood clotting, you are, you are preventing stroke. Yeah. So these are things that we say in May, it's mm. not that yeah. 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 It, it's but, a but must. Yeah. 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 So there is, even with men, you know, when your blood is a bit thinner, you know what I mean. So uh, <laughs> it's good for men also. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. yeah because it, when it you helps with the facilitation. facilitation. When it's thinner. <laughs> when it's thinner. <laughs> when it's thinner. <laughs> So these people, people, wine lovers, you read a lot about wine. Mm. They can Google and then uh, go on the net and find out a lot. Mm. There are wines, depending on the sort of food you're going to take. If it's spicy mm. food, you need some white wine and mm. stuff like that. If it's meat, if it's fish, you need. So you don't just go to a restaurant and say, <laughs> hey, wine, and then bring it, and then you start and you are eating. You come sleep and start having heart bends <laughs> and then you think you know did you spend money to go and get this trouble for yourself uh, or not uh, uh, what when you're going out for a meal 
read about uh, what the food that you're going to eat. Mm. Look at the best wine. When you get there, ask for that, that particular wine. Okay, yeah. okay, uh, okay. Where does man fit in all of this? It's like, uh, you said this is the one, not immediately. You Yeah, yeah. This, this is the second uh, category. Second category. Within uh, uh, five yeah. years, you one should be, uh, five uh, one to five, you mm. should be drinking. Mm. Now, it has a pH level of between three and four. That is the ideal pH level for wine. Uh, <laughs> it's the acidic content of wine. Uh, if you don't have the right one, you know, bacteria can settle on the wine and stuff like that. <laughs> if you have the right man, it's 3.4, it's between 3.46 and 3.5, which is within the ring. Mm. So you don't have those hard bands when you take the man wine. Wow. And I, I know my people in Kumasi love red wine. And so now I think they will enjoy their wine best if they start, you know. <laughs> uh, Can they get man? Who is this really man there? Or you are not in Accra or you are all over Accra? No, we're going to. We, 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 we just started. We yeah, just started. No, yeah, we're going to move to Kumasi, whatever. Put us together for man, man. <laughs> you know, we are taking lessons in wine. And uh, so... Um, is there uh, like a contact? People are listening who may want to stack yeah. uh, man wines. Yes. Is there a contact? Do uh, is it just on retail business? So you have distributors are welcome, and then any wine stores want to get in touch with you. How okay. how? So the main outlet is the RTS options on the Spintex Road. Okay, and you can contact us on zero two zero eight double one zero six one eight. Okay. Yes, or zero two zero eight one six one six zero one. Okay. Okay. Guys, both numbers are on the screen right now, mm -hmm. and you've heard a lot about man wines, M A N. And um, for those of you who are into bulk and you want yeah. to do it like uh, beyond the uh, retailing, please call these numbers, yeah. and they will give you the best directions of how you can get yourself uh, a supply of man. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you, considering that you are, you are, you are a beerist, let me say, <laughs> <laughs> you are very knowledgeable about, about wines now. Yeah. You, 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 you had to study to... No, at least, uh, yes, I had to study. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when I had interest in the wine... You decided uh, to... Yeah, mm -hmm. in fact, when I visited the vineyard, you know, that was when the interest grew. Mm. And then, uh, so, uh, and now, though I do the beer a little, but that <laughs> one glass of wine a is day. Yeah, a day, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. make it like, mm -hmm. it's part of my medication now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask this, you go to the hotel and you, you ask for wine, they don't just bring you wine, they try, they give you a little for you to taste, mm. you know. Me, I'm like, not a connoisseur, I'm like, a, it's good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really look out for when, with that little taste and when they, I, is this just going through the motions or yeah. you actually... So testing for something it's always good to see your wine that okay. they are bringing to you mm -hmm. then when they open it mm -hmm. they pour a little bit mm -hmm. then you sniff it mm. you are supposed to sniff to feel if it has the acidic acidic uh, feel of it then you, you can get that by sniffing you, you can, can sniff it and really? it, it will hit your nose but if it's they're not a good one you, you, you don't get that feel oh. Oh, really? Then you swell it around to incorporate some a little bit of air in it. Then you taste. That is when you get the good notes on your palate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so technically, if I sniff, I well and yeah. I taste and I don't like it, you have to go and You can ask for a new bottle. Yeah. Ah. Something else. Yes. Oh, but wow. That, that, that should bring you the best of the wine itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> well, Mr. Charles Taylor, yes. for that name and considering you're in Liberia, did you have some trouble at some point? Initially, I did. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, it turned out to be humor every time. I yeah. to, at least from the airport, everybody knew me. Yeah, and, uh, that's Charles Taylor. Yes, uh, <laughs> I was using a UN passport. So okay. And okay. that could identify me a little bit. Okay. That they know that I'm not the guy. Okay. And the guy too is first, so at least they know. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But it hit the headlines when I went there first as a consultant, and then a newspaper, you know, uh, put it on the Chastela is now in Liberia as a consultant. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, to, well, sell, to sell his papers only to go and read and, you know. And realize it was something yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's been humor. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us right. and um, talking about man wine. Mm. And thank you for telling, turning us all into knowledgeable beans and, and wine. Yeah. So you got the numbers on the screen, folks, one more time. If you want to get them in bulk, please. Do not hesitate to call any of these numbers and you'll get your supply of man wine. Mr. and Mrs. Charles Taylor, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Our pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. The KSM Show.